Hello, it's me again. Yep. We're back playing Terraria with our wonderful weirdo. I really like how good he looks. It just works. Remember when he had the Queen Bee mask? It already seems it was so long ago. First of all, I did record a video last night, 20 minutes long. But, didn't mean to be an idiot. It turned out that I was. My recording size for this screen was about two times bigger than it should have been, so you could only see like this. Whoops. This portion. This portion of the screen is from here to up there. <laughs> so obviously I was gonna scrap it. And to be honest, it wasn't an interesting video anyway. So, I built something in the jungle, which is really important. And, let's go to it right now. Give you a quick tour. Almost forgot about my twins. I also gotta yell at the yo-yo, the jungle yo-yo, so that's pretty cool. I think I also got really a life fruit. Yeah, I do. That's right. Uh, I actually took a lot. Oh, did I forget? But I, I think I got the nectar too. Is that last? I don't. That was a. No, it wasn't. I was recording. <sighs> I'm getting confused now. I... Well, I got another Beezor. It's nice. I want my extra real character that I really knew. I actually made... was able to make three unshield small playing through the game. Three! That went the wrong way, so... So here's my little f jungle farm. Once it fills up with grass, it'll look a lot nicer. Until the grass spreads when I put that there. Because the hive gets in the way. Okay, so it'll be a nice bait farm and a nice slicer farm. We're just gonna wait for all the grass to grow in. There shouldn't be many more life fruits in the jungle right now, so I'm not gonna bother looking. Wait, I almost threw that dynamite. That would have been bad, to say the least. <laughs> if I would have thrown a dynamite in my house, it would have been really stupid. Well, Kogi King. Move into the wrong house, of course, but we got a truffle last time. Hamish. One of my favorite items, just because. It's a comic from it, where it's from. Legend of Max is so awesome. You should totally read it. I'll put a link in the description. It's such a great comic. It's pretty, it's, it's ended. The story wasn't finished, but it's still a good comic. Then there's always a chance I'll make more in the future. It's still awesome, awesome weapon. And yes, the comic did create this. Terraria added it after the comic was made. Some people think that 
the comic had this because it was in Terraria, but now it's the other way around. It's in Terraria because of the comic. We don't need anything from him just yet, but after playing Terra, he'll have the auto hammer. There's so many corruption enemies around here. That's lame. This would be why there's corruption enemies spawning. Our bugger are back. Let's go make some furniture for him. Those sloping platforms can be so annoying sometimes. At least that works, okay? Good. It worked very well. Of course, it'll be uneven, because this game hates me. Let's go back and get two chains for chandeliers. There is a mushroom bookcase. I'm definitely making that. It's cool. I'm gonna make a mushroom sofa. Almost forgot. Um, first of all, I'll put these away. And then we also need some more decor. I want to put in the destroyer. And why not? Goblins playing poker. And two paintings I pillage while farming in Nazar in a new world. Uh, okay, there. Um, that was weird.
treaty. Oh, um, I don't like that. Guess I'll have to put up with that. What do you know? Another vitamins. Isn't that clever? Incorporate the table. This will be our fishing place for the fishing quest, mushroom fishing quest. Okay, 
three buckets of water are not going to be enough. Let's go make a ton more. I think it's three for each one. Another three. I was thinking of doing Skeletron Prime tonight, but you know what? I'm going to wait another night. I want to do some fishing quests. Or at least get some more stuff started. Oh! We finally got a sandstorm. This is our first one in this world. I was kind of hoping for a sand elemental, but we didn't get one. Hopefully we'll get the bottomless water bucket request. So you look at it, it's gonna take a long time. Off camera, I'm gonna be doing this. So. It's a full moon. I'm not gonna bother looking for a skeleton merchant because we already have the fairy bell. So. Let's just go for Skeletron Prime. We can do it, this is not that hard. Actually, I want more curse bullets. And we need swiftness, endurance, night owl. Do a call no, I'm not gonna do calming. Thorns? Okay. And that'll be pretty much it. We need to make a... We're not gonna bother with Life Force. We don't need it. It's a waste of Prismite. We'll need to make an Iron Skin. Last day blow me to get more. So then you have an Alchemy Farm soon. Up here. Skin Potion. I think it's 200 per flame, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and then Marquee. Of course, it's over. There we go. Okay. It'll be enough. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, go! Last one, everybody.
the last 10,000. Laser arm's gone. That's the lowest health. Almost there. Fuck the minions finish him off. Come on. Come on. Come on, finish your mouth. There we go. There we go. Didn't get any of their trophies, but that's the last one. The jungle is now growing restless, and all three mechanical bosses are dead. <sighs> yes, we did it. <clears throat> Yeah, we're doing we're doing so well. We got got this. We can finish this playthrough. Wow, that was pretty easy. And I really the star veil is really useful in the cross necklace too, just because the invincibility it gives you. I noticed that at some parts I was getting hit. I was like trapped with the prime saw on me. But I didn't. I only got like one hit off it when I would have gotten like three hits off it if it weren't for my cross necklace. So that that item is like makes it so much easier to battle these guys. So I've got the soul of fright. Soul of fright is useless. It can make naughty presence and the flamethrower, which isn't even that good. But you know what? We're not gonna make it because it requires. So much. So is a fright. You have more hallowed bars. You have just enough to make the pickaxe axe, which is very, very good. So, so you see 18 hallowed bars and a soul from each of the foul beasts. We can make the pickaxe axe. Which means we can mine chlorophyte. Great. And since we also have five of each soul and a sorcerer emblem, we can make the Avenger emblem. We do have a power glove. Hmm. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna use this event I'm not gonna make the mechanical glove. Not until I get another adventure emblem. Well, now we, should, we need to go farm the mechanical bosses some more. Get the hell of bars, more souls. And you know what? We're doing really well in this playthrough. Already we're up to Chlorophyte and Plantera. Awesome. I'm not gonna stop using my Mega Shark just yet. It's still a really good weapon. Now let's do a quick sweep of the jungle for life fruits, and that'll be the end of the video. Great. Great. And it's already gonna stop. The sandstorm is already stopped. So happy we're able to slay the mechanical bosses. I can't believe how far we've gotten.
again, I'm not showing too much excitement because, number one, I'm not too good at that. I'm not, I'm not that good at showing excitement. And number three, or, I don't remember what number we are on, but next number. I've done this so many times before, not in hardcore, but I've done so many times just overall that... Well, yeah, you know, it's nice. Hardcore. Awesome. I'm not gonna mind the core fight just yet. Well, no, I won't. I'll save it for next time. Here's a normal entrance to my thingamabobs. My farm. I can't say farm, I just say thingamabobs, it's easier. Use some more turtle shells. Finally, there's one I'm nearby. There it is. You have so many rotten chunks on these ghosts. We'll do one spelunker's worth of chlorophyll. I don't know. We'll do that next time. Well. Thank you for watching, we got all three mechanical bosses down. Next time we'll be mining up Chlorophyte, so leave a like if you enjoyed, and thank you for watching once again, and goodbye.